Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. This is USA versus Quiznos. UK versus Quiznos. I never had Quiznos, but I heard it's pretty... I never heard anything about it. I don't ever hear anybody say, let's go to Quiznos. Like, what? So, I'm pretty sure this is an L. This, is, this place is an L, but hey, I'm going to watch it. Free From content. calorie count to portion sizes, we wanted to find out all the differences between Quiznos in the UK and the US. This is Food Wars. Like in the UK, place. Quiznos sandwiches come in four sizes. Firstly, we have the kid size, which is four and a half inches. Then we have a small sub, which is six inches. A medium sub from UK Quiznos is nine inches, or at least it should be before we got hungry and ate it by mistake. And then finally, we have a large sub, which is 12 inches or one foot long. In the US, our Quiznos sandwiches come in four sizes. The Sammy, a four inch, an eight inch, and a 12 inch. And I want to give Quiznos props for not calling this like a sandwich taco or something really obnoxious. Also in the US at a Quiznos, you can get party platters of either 20 three inch sandwiches or 14 flatbreads cut in half. There are no fountain drinks at a Quiznos in the UK. Instead, we just have cans and bottles, which are 330 milliliters and 500 milliliters respectively. Like Quiznos is struggling. In the bro. US at a Quiznos, you can get your drinks in three sizes, Jeez, either a bottle, dude. which is 20 ounces, the regular, also 20 ounces, or the large, which they did not have. Let's weigh a classic Italian that foot long so from a Quiznos in the I'm about UK to say that looks so fake, to. dude. So our scales could just about handle that. Turns out that a foot long classic Italian from a UK Quiznos is 520 grams. In the US, Quiznos classic foot long Italian is about like 460? Uh. Quiznos was one of the first chains to toast their subs. So now let's arbitrarily compare the toastedness between our bread and the UK bread. In our extremely precise comparison metric, it looks like the US maybe has the edge when it comes to toastiness of the bread. The inside of this is completely soggy, and the outside, just very average. Here is everything you'll only find on the menu at a Quiznos God, in the UK. God, dog! And here are a lot of the USA Quiznos uh, exclusive it looks like items. he has more. Let's start with some sandwich options first. The first one is this one. It's a vegan pakora sandwich. Pakora is an Indian food which is made of chopped and spiced onions and opening this I got a real hit of some really nice flavours actually. It's actually really good. Very flavourful. Next Looks up we've got good. one which I'm surprised wasn't on the US menu which is a BLT. You can also get peri peri chicken from UK Quiznos. Peri peri chicken is just like a kind of chilli marinated chicken which has a little bit of heat to it. Another slightly surprising exclusive in that I'm surprised you don't have it in the US is the barbecue chicken. They've given us a small sub, but it looks like they've written smell on it, so. For the meat lovers, we have a barbecue steak and pepperoni sub. Then we have a classic British filling, which is this one, ham, cheese, and pickle. Now, when we say pickle here, we don't mean slices of pickled cucumber. What we mean is pickle, which is a brown vinegary condiment made with various vegetables. Oh no, they actually do oh. mean pickle. <laughs> they mean actual pickle. Next up, we've got the zesty steak sub. I'm not exactly sure what makes this zesty, so I'm gonna try it and try and find out. I'd be lying if I said this was the zestiest thing I've ever eaten. There's some kind of like salsa on the top, which I guess is supposed to be the zesty component, but basically not much flavor coming from it. Perhaps the meatiest option on the whole menu is the three meat stack. So it looks as if the three meats are ham, bacon, and beef, but there's also some olives in there, some lettuce, tomato, and cheese. And then lastly, we have a double cheese nut. This is basically just a grilled cheese, but in sub form. Ah! Chipotle turkey yeah. and meat. That yeah, looks all right. The honey, bacon, oh, there's honey in this, dude. A honey, bacon club. Yeah, I can get down on that. The Southwest chicken on their jalapeno bread. Yeah, I don't know, that one kind of looks kind of rough in there. This veggie sandwich is packed with veggies, man. Veggie on wheat, all you health nuts out there. The Black Angus. This one, I don't know about this one. I think having Black Angus, I guess, like shaved steak. Ooh, the spicy Monterey. Turkey club. Overflowing with turkey clubbiness. Next up we have toasties. Now toasties are a very popular lunch snack in the UK. It's what we call a grilled cheese. So if you go to the UK and ask for a toastie, that's what you get. Mm. Toasties at Quiznos come in the form of cheese, ham and cheese, and tuna mayo. In the US, you can get a Quiznos sandwich in Sammy form. And what that kind of looks like is a, I don't know if it's a pita bread, but it's kind of folded over. You saw it earlier. Can we go over the instant replay of the Sammy? That thing. You can't get those in the UK, from my understanding. And I don't know if you can get every sandwich sammied. You can get the classic Italian, Black Angus, 
the lobster, and the slow roasted chicken. I had to say, like, I thought it was stupid, but this actually, like, looks more manageable if you just want to try something out. It's been sitting for a while, but, like, looks a little bit like a gordita. Next up, we've got crispy chicken fillets. These are basically just breaded and fried chicken tenders, and they come in portions of four, six, or eight. On the side in the UK, you can get a portion of crisp cut fries. These come as small or large, Waffle fries. and they're just potato that's cut into a crisscross pattern and deep fried. Our last hot side option is garlic bread. It looks like it's made with the same bread that Quiznos uses for most of their subs in the UK. Know, Have there's uh, some garlic butter spread on top of it, and then it's toasted as well. You can also get this with cheese. Tater tots in the U.S. of A. Regular and jalapeno bacon. Yeah, whoa. I brought a bit right into a jalapeno. <laughs> okay, this is getting slow down, Joe. Pizza time. Pizza time. In the UK, Quiznos offers a range of pizzas. We're gonna go through them one by one to show you what they are. Let's start with pizza this one. Time. Now this one is the Chicken Baja, which is a barbecue sauce based pizza with some bacon, some barbecue chicken, some kind of Baja sauce, I presume, and some red onion as well. Our next pizza option is the Peri Peri Chicken. This oh, one's pretty special. It's Peri Peri. That is divine right there. Chicken, that looks peppers, delicious. peppers, and onions. From there, we're moving on to the Veggie Supreme. This is a vegetarian friendly option with some peppers, mushrooms, onions, and olives. Then we're moving on to the barbecue chicken pizza. This one has a barbecue sauce base, some barbecue chicken, I don't want you and then once again, bed. peppers and There's onions. a bunch of stuff on there. I personally hate it when away. they use barbecue sauce as the base instead of tomato sauce. Like, it ain't broke, don't fix it. Exactly. And finally, we have the classics, margarita and pepperoni. Really not much to say about these. That looks undercooked. Christmas in the UK also offers a range of wraps and salads. The following things can be used in either form. I feel like he's talking more than uh, our US guy. Chicken Caesar, barbecue chicken and ranch, tuna, honey mustard chicken, peri-peri chicken, and Mediterranean salad. Soups. This, what is this, chili? Chili? Ooh, cheddar broccoli. I need to open this, no cheddar broccoli. Sorry, dude. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's not that this is a bad version of the soup. It's that cheddar broccoli or cheese broccoli. I mean, this smells exactly like a fart. <laughs> and everyone's favorite, chicken noodle. Salads. Uh, you can get a side garden salad. Like the lobster is supposed to be like a thing for them. So you can also get lobster salad. Look at that. It actually looks pretty good. Uh, this is the, uh, I think the chef salad. Uh, the Italian salad, which I think is everything that comes on the Italian sandwich. Thrown in a bowl. And then finally we have some snack options. Quiznos in the UK oh, offers these like real that. branded crisps, which come as sea salt or cheese and onion flavor. We can get a fruit and oat cookie from a UK Quiznos. The packaging advertises this as a giant cookie, but to me this is just a regular sized cookie. So I don't know if all the workers at Patterson's are just very small, or if they need to change their terminology. And finally we have two muffin options, chocolate or blueberry. This place These fantastic chips are available at Quiznos like... in the US. Uh, Miss Vicky has a bunch of different brands. On top of that, at Quiznos, you can get so many other types of chips. Let's get a few of those on the screen right now. Quiznos in the US, we got your chips. I feel like, okay, a quick, quick, quick rant. I feel like you're basic if you do this. You're high class. High class if you do this. Whatever, whatever. I feel like this is high class though. I feel like Miss Vicky's is like a little like you're eating. It's not healthy, but it's like it's healthier than like the rest of these. So minus this, you know. Covered. I don't know. I feel Getting like Miss Vicky's is like audio as I cut this right in front of a mic. Unfortunately, nutrition. Quiznos in the UK doesn't disclose any of its nutritional information, so I'm just gonna sit here and like think about Pokemon, I guess. What's Pokemon? At a Quiznos in the US, a classic Italian 12 inch sub is 1260 calories, 63 grams By of way, fat, 22 juice, grams of saturated like, fat, 3760 you know. milligrams of sodium, and 115 grams of carbs. If you don't worry about I sodium, promise, okay. I got some bad news. Throw in a bag of the lovely Miss Vicky's sea salt chips. Arguably the best flavor of Miss Vicky's chips. The sea salt, it's like sea salt and who cares? Love these chips. And a large Coke. Yes, more that's a regular. Can we get someone to post to make that bigger? Thank you. Add these two things, <laughs> and now your meal is 2,040 calories, 84 grams of fat, 25 of those grams saturated, 4,290 milligrams of sodium, and 
264 grams of carbos. For those of you with the sweet tooth, if you want to substitute the chips for a cookie, for a cookie. That's a big cookie. For a cookie, <clears throat> now that you got the cookie instead of the chips, with the large Coke still, you're going to go up to 2,133 calories, bad, 81 honestly. grams of fat, 33 grams of a saturated fat, 4,100 milligrams of sodium, and 279. I was just kidding. I said it's not that bad in the calorie count if you just like, that's what you're going to eat for the day. But like, damn, bro. Grams of I didn't mean that much meg milligrams. Is it aju or ajuice? Aju? This life-saving device stops- Are you kidding me? This video is two seconds long. <laughs> Great, thanks guys. <laughs> Aju? That is so true, bro. I hate when YouTube does that, bro. It is two. Two seconds long and this dude is like, there's an ad play. I fucking love that shit, bro. This life-saving device stops- Are you kidding me? This video is two seconds long. <laughs> Great, thanks guys. Aju. Oh, French. Aju. In the US, a French dip 12 inch with <laughs> au, jus. au jus, right, is 1140 calories, 45 grams of fat, 14 saturated fat, 3,370 milligrams of sodium, and 119 carbs. Now, Connor, I gotta get personal for a second here. The last time I ate at a Quiznos was probably 12 years ago. I worked in an office job that I really hated, and in the lobby was a Quiznos. And I went there one day with a co worker, got a sandwich. And on the way out, that coworker said to me, what'd you think? And I believe my exact words were, you'd have to pay me to eat a Quiznos again. 12 years later, they're paying me to eat a Quiznos. <laughs> Bro, I don't think anybody like is like, oh, let's go to Quiznos, like what? Dude, this is pretty good. This is not the most calorific sandwich on a Quiznos menu. That distinguished honor goes to the 12 inch Italian meatball. It's 1,390 calories for one 12 inch sandwich. This sandwich is pretty good. This dipping thing, this don't work. I don't want this cold dip coming with my sandwich when I get home. I don't want to do all this in the Quiznos and I certainly can't do this in the car. Quiznos, listen to me. I'm about to give you a million dollar idea. So check this out. You guys with some food science do what the McGriddle did, right? With the syrup in their in their uh, pancake buns. You do the same thing. You inject this juice into the bread of the sandwich so it's all in one. That'd be amazing, dude. I would totally get the sandwich. Is this not a bad idea? No dipping, right? I just saved the brand. You're welcome. I think I deserve a Quiznos black Quiznos is a dying Now our American audience might be wondering, bro, like, Quiznos, didn't they go out of business? And the answer is not really. And apparently they might be making a comeback. Research on the brand shows that between 2007 and 2017, Quiznos went from 4,700 US locations to fewer than 400. They had a fierce competitor in Subway, Jimmy John's, and several other small I don't sandwich blame chains. They were hit crazy. hard by the Great Recession and had to deal with several lawsuits from many of their own franchisees. Ooh. Ooh. In 2014, Quiznos actually filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy in the US, but it looks like Chapter some of their stores stuck around. According to a recent article we found in QSR magazine, which does read awfully like a press release, Quiznos is moving forward with new designs, menu items, and drive throughs so perhaps the future is bright. Hate to break it to you, all these sandwich places are almost exactly the same. So there's no reason why Quiznos can't be just as popular as any other ones, right? Especially now, like doing like kind of a comeback. What they have to do, pay attention Quiznos, more information coming your way. What Quiznos has to do is go after each sandwich chain individually and just position themselves as not being that and picking the thing that sucks about it and just being like, hey, we don't have that. Like you wanna beat Subway? Quiznos, yoga mat material free in the bread. There you go. Give me another sandwich please. This is easy, go, give me one. Jimmy, dude, correct me if I'm wrong, but like Jimmy John's, their whole thing was like, they make sandwiches super fast, right? Yes. In order to do that, it's like one person slices the bread, then the next person cuts the meat, right? Then the next person adds the cheese, right? It's like five people touch your sandwich to make it go faster. Quiznos, your sandwich won't be touched by five stone teenagers. Pop alleys, nobody wants to eat in an antique store. At Quiznos, our furniture isn't 100 years old. What's left? <laughs> I've never been to Pop Bellies. Oh, Jersey Mike's? Quiznos. We're not from New Jersey. <laughs> I've never been to Jersey Mike's. I haven't, like, dude, a lot of these foods, people think I eat, like, fast food, like, every day. I've never been to a Quiznos. I've never been to one. I don't even, I thought they were extinct. 
extinct, but here they are. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, and um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.